Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to import XML file to SQL server using SQL query. So in this video, we will import an XML file to the SQL server. So let's jump to the demo. In my D files location, I got an XML file sellers.xml and if I open this particular file, maybe in Notepad++, then I can show you the data that this particular file contains person's ID, first name, last name, email, gender and the company name. So these are the fields that it contains and I want to import this file into a SQL server table and this particular file contains 1000 records. Okay. So we need to create a sellers table on the SQL server side so that the data from the XML can be imported to a SQL server table. So based on the schema of the XML file, like in the XML file we have person's ID, first name, last name, email, gender and country columns. So I have created a table here, sellers table and with the same name and same schema whatever schema can be present in the xml file and if you see so at the moment the sellers table is empty okay so i want to import the data from this particular file xml file to the sellers table so the first step was to create the table and now the second step is that we can write the insert query which can actually insert the data directly from xml file to the sql server table so I already have a basic insert statement which can insert the data from an XML file to the SQL server table. So let me copy that particular statement from here, copy the query from here, paste it here and now let me modify it according to our scenario. Okay. So in the first line we need to give the table name along with all the column names in the table. Those will be populated by this query. So our column name is ID, first name, last name, email and then gender. So I can copy the gender column here and the last column name is the country so I can copy the country column name as well and this is the select query which will read the data from the XML file and will insert into the SQL server table so if you see here from open row set we need to give the location of the XML file so our file is situated inside D files location so I can copy the file name from here D files sellers dot XML and I can replace the existing value here all right and now under nodes my xml dot nodes we need to give the data set and record here so if i open the seller dot xml file so this is the first one data set so this data set we need to copy and paste it here and now if you see the second one is the record this is the record so you need to copy this value from here and paste it here so this particular value can be different for your XML file. So accordingly you need to provide the correct value here. Okay. And then you, you can call it as record. So you need to paste this particular value to this location as well. Okay. So as soon as the last three lines are done, then in this particular location, you need to give the your column names in the XML file and along with their data type. So our first column name is the ID column. So if you see the first column is the ID column and the values of type integer so that's why we have given the column name as id and the data type as integer and if you see the second column so the second column is the first name and the data type we can give as maybe varchar 50 for example this is first name and varchar 50 so that's why we have given the first name and varchar 50 so this data type is actually according to the data that is stored in the xml file so the second column is first name so now the next column is last name so that's why we have given the last name here and the data type is varchar 50 here as well and after last name we got the email so that's why we have given the email column here and now after email if you see in the file we got the gender so we need to add a new column gender here so i can copy this line from here paste it here and the next column name i can copy from here gender paste it here and the gender is also of varchar 50 so i can give the value of varchar 50 here and now the last column is the country so i can copy the country value from here and paste it here and the data type i can give is varchar 100 okay so now let me just try to select the data from the xml file using this query and show you what kind of data it will return and maybe what i can do i can just use a top 10 clause here so that the data can be read quickly okay so let me execute the query now so if you see it is returning the data correctly for the first name last name email gender and the country but for the id column it is returning the value as zero okay so if you see like why the id value is returning as zero 
so if you go back to the XML so you will see that ID is an small so it's case sensitive so because it is an small and here I have given the I as, as in cap so that's why it is returning the value 0 it is returning the value 0 because the data type we have given is the int and for example if you can give the data type as varchar 50 then if you will try to select the data again then it will return you the blank instead of the 0 so now it is returning blank because there is no column with the name id in the xml and because we have given the data type as varchar so that's why it is returning the blank value so i can just change the data type to integer here and then i can just copy the actual column name from here small id and paste it here and then i can select the data again so now it is selecting the data correctly from the id column and everything seems good here so i can just remove the top 10 clause from here and i can execute this particular query and uh, before executing the query i can show you that the sellers table is empty and now let me just run this particular query so the query is running and i have noticed that it takes more time to insert the data into sql server table from xml file using the sql query as compared to using the ssis package so i will pause the video for a bit and i will show you how much time it will take to insert the data all right so the process has run fine and it took 2 minutes and 26 seconds to insert the data 1000 records into the sql server table and i will share the xml file with you and i will also share the create table statement and this query to insert the data from the xml file to the sql server table so let me show you the data in the sellers table so now you can see that the data has imported correctly from the xml file to the sql server table so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much